My name is David Campbell. I work as a photography consultant, writer and producer, and uh, I live in Newcastle in the northeast of England. Uh, my name is Jerry Liu. I'm from Hunan, and I'm working for UNICEF China as a photography consultant. In Britain, like the United States, there are dramatic changes going on in media. We're seeing overall uh, declines in the readership and circulation of newspapers as people gravitate to getting their news online. I think I organized this workshop because I think the multimedia is a very important way to promote uh, photography, especially uh, documentary photography and the press photography. Yeah, my name's DJ Clark and I'm a multimedia reporter for China Daily. Um, the workshop that we've been running for the last few days is a multimedia workshop, which might seem strange in a photography festival. But the way media has changed in the way that media has moved away from print and is moving slowly onto the internet means that there are lots and lots of new opportunities to create photography stories in different ways. And that now includes having some sort of video with it and using audio as well as text and obviously the photographs themselves. Many, many of uh, young photographers, they graduate from the school, they only uh, learn how to uh, use the, the camera to take the still pictures. But the whole new world is changed. The, the audiences want the multimedia, want everything online and move, more interesting. Uh, my name is Boris Austin. Um, I'm a British photographer living in Beijing. I work with a community uh, of, of other photographers and friends in Beijing, and everybody's starting to work, you know, in much more of a online multimedia, you know, way. So it's just I wanted to add um, essentially a kind of structure to uh, my way of working. So what we're doing is taking established photographers, and we've got people from all over the world here at this workshop and we're giving them a short five-day experience where we try to give them an understanding of some of those other tools so that they can show their work in different ways, particularly online and also using things like the iPad and, and other forms, new forms of, of distribution that has come uh, with new technology and the internet. Sorry, I'm, this is the worst time ever to interview me. <laughs> I haven't slept at all. <laughs> anyway, okay. As an organizer, I, I never thought a lot of people from all over the world to apply this workshop, especially a lot of foreign photographers come to China, come to Changsha to join this workshop. All right, I'm Jackie and I'm from Perth in Western Australia. I wait tables in order to uh, save some money up so I can go on my next photography project. <laughs> my name is Robin Fall. Um, I'm from the States, Wyoming to be exact, and um, I work in Beijing as a freelance photographer. Um, my name's Vanessa De Smith. Um, I'm 29 years old and I'm f coming from Belgium. Um, and I am a very, very beginning documentary photographer. Uh, my name is Naga Velu. I'm from India. This was something new that we do with digital SLRs. So I thought it would be really helpful for me to know about the new technology and combining both film and still images together I decided to do this workshop because I saw a presentation at Vita Poglimage from MediaStorm, uh, which got me really interested in audio um, and adding video to my uh, documentary photography stories. I do a lot of commercial work and advertisements and some documentary in Beijing. I do a lot of, a lot of other things and I wanted to kind of get back into the, into the mode of editing a, a, a like multimedia piece. I did the workshop to learn more about multimedia, to learn more about sound, to learn more about movie. It's something I'd rather like to move into with my own work and I've uh, found it pretty inspiring actually and hopefully will include what I learn to learn my next project. My name is Kevin. I'm from Changchun, north of China. I'm a photographer for newspaper. My name is Chen Kun Hong. 
I came to this workshop because uh, it is very much related to my major. We can make uh, photos uh, like, a, like something move. Uh, we can make the story happen and we can move the, make the, um, the, the sound as paper. Maybe the people were live in the paper. I think um, now as the uh, network develops and the media is like transforming to from the, the old forms to new forms and as say China it, it has the uh, biggest population in the whole world so the market it is very big and very potential. Our project was about a family in Changsha who is living in one of the old uh, government-owned dormitories that is attached to a factory. We, what happened last night is someone phoned us. We went to stay in a dormitory uh, of these 19-year-old boys in this school, and they're like learning English and different things. No, sorry, a university. And um, you know, we're, we're in this place, and we realise we really, really shouldn't be in there. Uh, a very beautiful and small, simple family who are just wanting to um, provide a better future for themselves. In fact, her only wish for this life was to have a more comfortable bed. I'd like a more comfortable bed too. <laughs> it was just an amazing experience and we were there all the way, documenting, documenting. Um, it was just happening and we were there. It was really like truly embedded, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was what's happened so far in this workshop has been uh, yeah a really good experience. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> Cut. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Oh, how do I get rid of this? We can sleep tonight, can't we? We need to sleep. Loads of good footage. Um,